Engine-driven generator systems are supplied in single and three-phase configurations. This video explains single-phase configurations, covers voltages available, and the advantages of using a single-phase generator. Electrical power generated in a single-phase generator is expressed in a graph in terms of volts on the y-axis and time on the x-axis. Following Faraday's law of electromotive force, or EMF, as a magnet force cuts across a conducting wire, an EMF or electrical current is induced into the wire. As the magnet turns through 360 degrees, an alternating current, expressed as AC current, takes the form of a sine wave alternating in 360 degrees, in a period of one second, from positive to negative volts. The voltage is at zero degrees as the magnetic field is parallel with the wires. As the magnet rotates and the field crosses the wire coils, an EMF is induced. At 90 degrees, the magnetic field is fully crossing the coils for peak positive AC current and voltage. After rotating 180 degrees, the magnetic field is again parallel to the wire coils with zero EMF induced. Rotating to 270 degrees, crossing the wires in the other direction, maximum negative EMF is produced. After one second, the rotating magnetic field has rotated a full 360 degrees again, parallel to the coils with zero EMF. The sine wave depicts one complete cycle alternating from maximum positive to maximum negative EMF. To calculate the voltage output, the connected load sees the average voltage output is used, calculated as the root mean squared or RMS value, not the peak sine wave voltages. At 90 degrees, the positive peak voltage of the RMS value is reached, which in a single phase generator is 110 volts when measured from the neutral to line one. At 270 degrees, the RMS value of the negative peak voltage is generated at 110 volts when measured from the neutral to line two. The voltage measured from line one to line two is 220 volts. There are some distinct advantages to using a single phase system. Single phase systems are less complex and less costly. A single phase system should be used when you have a large single phase connected load, such as a single phase electric motor. Single phase is better for small single phase only loads like in residential properties. And some installations cannot split the single phase loads into three equal parts for three phase supply. So a single phase generator must be selected. While for some applications there are larger single-phase generators, the majority of loads above 15 kilowatts use three-phase generators. Advantages over single-phase include more compact, greater efficiency, and can manage greater loads. As indicated, a single-phase brushless generator with a rotating magnetic field has one set of coils wound into the stator. A three-phase generator is made possible by winding into the stator three sets of coils. Electrical power generated in a single phase generator is expressed in a graph in terms of volts on the Y axis and time on the X axis. We start with phase one coils as for the single phase arrangement. Now phase two coil is added spaced 120 degrees from phase one. Then to complete a three phase generator, a third set of coils for phase three coil is spaced 240 degrees from the phase one coils. A full 360 degree turn represents one cycle over a time of one second. Phase one, two, and three all peak positive and negative 120 degrees apart for a more efficient and powerful output than a single phase coil would produce in the same size stator. A three brushless rotating field generator allows several voltage outputs depending on how the coil ends in the stator are connected. In the most common star connection, phase one, phase two, and phase three are connected in a star format. The neutral line is connected to the center of the star arrangement. Another line is connected to phase one, then another to phase two, and then the third phase to phase three. In a series star connection, the voltage read between phase one and neutral is 277 volts. In a parallel star connection, the voltage would be halved. Again, Phase two voltage red is 277 volts, with phase three to neutral being the same. The higher voltage in a star connection is measured phase to phase. 
first phase one to phase two reads 480 volts, which is phase one to neutral 277 volts times root three or 1.73. 480 volts is read phase one to phase three, and the same voltage phase two to phase three. The series star three phase connection represented here is a 277 phase to neutral and 480 phase to phase arrangement with the ratio being phase to neutral voltage multiplied by root three. Series star three phase voltages can also be 220 volts phase to neutral and 380 volts phase to phase. In a parallel star connection, there is also the option for 127 volts phase to neutral and 220 volts phase to phase. If you have questions about single and three phase generator systems and configurations, contact your authorized Kohler distributor for assistance.